Hello and welcome to Import.io. Recently, Import.io has released a new version of the Extractor Builder, where you can choose between the new and the legacy Extractor. This option will be available for a short time until we remove the legacy and focus on our new builder. Right now, the new version is only available in a standard extraction with login and full interaction coming soon. This will be a comparison between the legacy and new extractor builders. First, we enter the site we want to extract data from and click Extract. Once we load the site we want, you can see it shows a layout similar to a web browser with tabs on the top, which we can use to train on multiple URLs. New websites can be loaded in parallel, and you can switch between both URLs by clicking each tab like a normal browser. You can rename columns by either double-clicking the column or choosing the button to rename the column. Here we are creating a column with the name Title. Once we select a few titles, Import I.O. will understand what you're trying to select and automatically select the rest of the data points. If there are different sections, you may need to select more examples of the data you're trying to select. Once everything is selected, you can start creating more columns, such as a description. If there are selections you do not need, re-clicking the selected data point will unselect it from the data. You also have options in each column, such as Duplicate Column, Clear Column, and Delete Column. Clear Column will remove all data from a column, shown here. There is also an Undo button, which can undo the previous action, and Redo to redo the previous action. We can also create a column to add images, and the images now show in the Data section. These can be created for any image on the site, with an option to download these images as well. Here, we're creating another column with author images. Now, we'll show a comparison between the legacy and new extractors. In the new builder, we have a manual selector, which can select a specific CSS or X path captured from the website inspection, as shown in the video. When using a manual selector, it removes the ability to point and click data off the website for this particular column. Having knowledge of XPath and CSS is not required to use Import I.O., but can help when it comes to extracting data from more difficult or dynamic websites.
Another feature we added is Click to Element. If you click on a cell in the data section, it automatically scrolls and highlights the data that is captured on the page. This works for both a point and click column and a manual selected column. If you know regular expression, you can also implement that into your extractor to gather data formatted the way you need. Click the regular expression tab, enter your rejects or regular expression, and the data will change in your data table to show the output. Shown is where to locate manual selection on both the legacy and new builders. We also rearrange the settings to make it easier to understand. The order of the settings is the same order they are applied in. So, for example, if you output HTML, Regular expression works on top of the HTML output. Value transform is the same as column type, where you can choose a specific format to set your column to. If you set a column type, it will be applied after your regular expression. Default value is a predetermined value if the cell is blank. You'll notice when you first create an extractor, you have two options to begin with, manual selector and default value. Once you select a data point, you will get your other options to adjust the data as needed. You will also notice that when we switch between our two tabs, our data extracted stays the same between both pages. This is because both pages have the same format, and therefore, Import I.O. realizes the structure is the same and captures the data from the points selected. There's an option on the right-hand side in your settings labeled as Required. This means when extracting data, this data point must be filled, or the row of data will not return in the output of data. You can see in the image column, when required is checked, the cell without an image is removed. Another difference between our legacy and new extractors is the extractor settings. In legacy, the extractor settings are in the same sidebar as the column settings. In the new builder, those options were moved and split. For example, overlay and CSS are now in the View settings in the new builder. Multiple rows, single row, row X path, and locale settings are now in the Extractor settings tab in the new builder. Manual row X path lets you write what one row should populate in it using X path which you can enter into the text box. Single row takes the output from multiple rows of data, condensing it into a single row. The locale settings allow you to change what country or region you want your extractor to search for data from. A new feature we added is Show All Pages Data. This works when you're training your extractor with multiple URLs. 
When we click between the pages, you'll notice all the data is formatted the same way, but has different data from both pages. If you want to see all the data your extractor will attempt to collect, Show All Pages Data will allow you to see both datasets in one view. Another feature we're excited about is our Auto Detect feature. Auto Detection will look at a page, make assumptions about which data you're looking to extract, and automatically build and populate the columns you might need. When first clicking Auto Detect, it will ask if you're looking for multiple entities from the page or a single one. Once you make your selection and click OK, AI will attempt to create a data set for you to use and edit if needed. AutoDetect will create the columns, populate them, and name them. However, it doesn't use any column settings such as regular expression. If this is needed, you have the option to edit the extractor. We are excited for this easier way to help build extractors, and we will continue to iterate and update to further hone the AI models as we prepare to push into full production. Thank you for taking the time to learn Import I.O. and the differences between our Legacy Builder and our New Builder. If you need more in-depth guides, take a look at the User Guide for a six-part tutorial on how to create extractors. Thank you for watching.